This is another in the series of three handmade tools. How many have gone home and gone three handmade tools when no one's looking? Try it. Anyway, so we're going to continue on with some basic tools. Your next basic tool I'm going to talk about is your needle. Uh, I do have to admit, because I'm doing the show, that I do buy the needles. I don't make these basic tools. Uh, I like a thicker needle when I'm throwing for um, cutting bigger pieces and a smaller needle when I'm throwing for throwing, cutting smaller pieces. But also, um, you can make your own. A friend of mine buys a sewing kit anywhere from a darning needle to a little needle and uses a cork and just puts a needle in the cork and then he makes his tools this way. I don't like the feel of the cork in my hand when I'm throwing. I prefer to use the pen-like shape than the, the cork. But you can make your own tools that way. Okay, the next we're going to talk about is the ruler. And no, I didn't make or invent the ruler, but I did uh, make some marks on it. As you work with your ruler, um, production pottery, everything has to be exactly the same size. I'm forever wiping and cleaning the ruler to measure my pots, and pretty soon I wiped all the numbers off, and it's no longer a ruler, it's just a plastic stick. I found that if you are to cut where the inches are, you can see one or well, half one and all the way from half inch to six inches. And this works really well. You only have to go halfway. So if you want to measure a little bowl, your little bowl now is falling over. The little bowl now is exactly six inches. But if you want to measure something more than six inches, okay, you already know that this is six inches because it's half the ruler. Now you go six, seven, eight, nine, and the plate is 10 inches. It's a great way to measure when you're throwing or when you're finished throwing and you don't have to worry about your measurements because they won't go away because they're cut into the ruler. Now we have our ruler and the next thing we're going to do is how do you get your plate to be exactly that size is we use our calipers. Now I've used these for decades. This is one of my first tools I made myself. And all it is is a half a hanger. Now if you imagine the hanger, it's got the other half here and the little J thing that hangs it up, upside down J. You cut it off and now you've got this wire caliper. And if you want to measure something that's, my mugs are five and a half inches, you can go this way, one, two, three, four, five and a half inches. And now this is five and a half inches tall. The nice thing is you can drop this thing, you can put it in the bucket, you can bring it back, and it's still five and a half inches. You don't have to worry about inside measurements, you don't have to worry about outside measurements, you just have to keep a hold of this. Anyway, so there is the next in the series of three handmade tools.